we have more reason to believe that the most serious investigation of the attempts to steal the 2020 election are happening in Georgia. The fake electors have now been subpoenaed in Georgia, and we're going to talk about it. This is correct. This is a good thing. But to contextualize, I've continued to insist that the most likely orange or origin of charges, high level criminal charges against the top people in the Trump administration are most likely to come from the Georgia investigation. That's the one where Donald Trump famously said on the phone, I need eleven hundred and seven eleven thousand seven hundred and eighty votes. Give me a break. That's the one where Lindsey Graham, the senator from South Carolina, called to see, well, what could be done there? That's the one that really seems most obviously criminal and most provably criminal. And that Georgia investigation continues to signal that it is the most likely place where charges may stem. NBC News reporting Georgia fake electors hit with subpoenas in criminal probe. This move indicates the district attorney is homing in on potential charges related to the alleged plot by Trump's team to overturn the 2020 election. Nearly a dozen of Georgia's fake electors revealed Tuesday they've been subpoenaed to appear before the Fulton County special grand jury hearing evidence in the criminal investigation into 2020 interference by Trump and his allies. The revelation came in a court filing where attorneys for 11 of the state's 16 false presidential electors tried to quash subpoenas, calling them unreasonable and oppressive. The attorneys also argued that Fulton County D.A. Fannie Willis's office initially said their clients were <clears throat> witnesses, not subjects or targets, and that they agreed to voluntary interviews, although it appears as though that has changed. This is a very good sign. It seems Fannie Willis is taking this extraordinarily seriously. It appears that on August 2nd, unless something changes, Senator Lindsey Graham is going to have to appear and testify, not as a target that we know. But this is a brazen and direct attempt to subvert the will of the people, to subvert democracy. It, it was authoritarian and it was fascistic. The plot was, and this happened in multiple states. What do David fake electors? What do you mean? Is some is it a fake person? Like it's a mannequin? What do you mean? Now, here's what I mean. Joe Biden won Georgia. And because Joe Biden won Georgia, Georgia's electoral votes go to Joe Biden. When you count and try to get to 270 votes, which is what you need to become president, Georgia and all states won by Joe Biden say put ours in the Biden column and then you add them up. And if you get to 270, you become president. The scam that, among others, Trump was running in Georgia and other states was just put together a slate of Republican electors, have them all sign. Oh, we the duly undersigned are indeed the electors and we cast our electoral votes for Donald Trump, even though Trump didn't win the state. That was the idea. And it's being investigated in a serious manner in uh, Wisconsin. It's being investigated in a serious manner in Arizona, maybe in other states as well. I don't have the, the full list in front of me and in Georgia and in Georgia. Fannie Willis wants to know who organized you. This was a thing where there was an elector, a fake elector in Arizona confronted by a reporter. And he said, was this part of like a big plan? And the fake elector was evasive and didn't really say anything. He's like, no, I just showed up. Well, how did you know where to go and when to show up? You might say, well, I believe Trump won. But if you want to show up and try to sign fake elector forms, someone clearly told you where to go and when to go. If I wanted to be a fake elector, I wouldn't just go to the DMV on Tuesday at 10. I would I, someone would tell me this is where we're meeting to sign papers. Who was that? And the guy refused to answer and eventually walked away. So Fannie Willis is taking this seriously in Georgia. The electors have been subpoenaed. They are going to have to appear unless something changes. And maybe we will get answers as to how high up was the organization of these fake electors. Very important. Huge. This is one of the things where we spoke to a lawyer. Uh, involved in this in Wisconsin last week, and he agreed. Thankfully, a number of safeguards prevented these alternate electors from being considered legitimate and valid. But in theory, if you had a motivated governor and the right things in place, they could say, yeah, well, we don't believe Biden won. We believe Trump won. And so we're certifying the Republican electors instead. And then you would have 
a hellish situation on your hands. So we are going to follow this closely. We'll tell you when they'll be testifying and what is likely to come of it. In the meantime, find me on Twitter at D Pacman. And remember that we have the next David Pacman show viewer town hall coming up on Tuesday, July 26th at 6 p.m. Eastern. It will stream exclusively on our second YouTube channel, Pacman Live. And we'll be taking questions from everybody. I hope you'll participate more on that later this week. Who doesn't love a good cereal? The crunchiness, the sweetness, it satisfies in a serious manner. But then you grow up and now all the healthy cereals are boring and bland and they get soggy. And this is where Magic Spoon comes in. It is that sweet, crunchy texture you loved from childhood with zero grams of sugar, only four to five net carbs. Perfect if you're doing keto only 140 calories per serving and packed with 14 to 15 grams of protein. Magic Spoon spent years developing the recipes. It's really the only cereal on the market to get the texture and the flavor right without the sugar and without a ton of carbs. They have flavors like cocoa, honey nut, fruity peanut butter. Maybe you want to go adventurous. They've got blueberry muffin, maple waffle, cookies and cream or cinnamon roll that brings back memories. I love Magic Spoon. The whole team does. But if you don't, you'll get a full refund. But I know it's about to become your new favorite cereal. You'll get five dollars off when you go to magicspoon.com slash Pacman. The link is down below.